President Obama's LinkedIn lashing. Booty Lounge gets busted. And B of A holes. Welcome to Online Adeline. LOL. <laughs> like, are you online? You're so Facebook me, bro. XO. Hi, I'm Lauren Gilmore. And I'm Joshua Swanson. Presidential candidates are invading social media with billions of dollars of campaign money. Mitt Romney is buying Twitter ads to promote his campaign, while President Obama used LinkedIn to take questions for a town hall meeting. And in response, we the people are hiding behind our Twitter handles and boldly speaking our minds. President Obama, have you ever held a private sector job? Ever started a private business or created a job with your private business? Can you balance a checkbook? Why did you prioritize the health care bill over the economy? Why do we continue to subsidize China? President Obama's campaign was left saying, maybe North Korea is onto something. Censorship is underrated. I'm totally into communism. That's weird. Facebook is great for promoting your small business, except if it's illegal. In Detroit, a double-decker bus called the Booty Lounge, Booty Booty Lounge, Lounge, Booty Lounge, may be shut down after posts on Facebook revealed it's a strip club on wheels. The bus is a popular tailgating spot for sports fans to get pumped up before games. But these two officers confirmed this is no run-of-the-mill bus. With two stages, steel dancing poles, and a top-of-the-line smoke machine, it's a strip club, and therefore needs a special license to operate. Good work, boys. Social networking site My Virtual Neighbor claims to reduce crime in communities by 80%. The purpose of this site is to let criminals know that neighbors are organized and fighting back. By being virtually involved with your community, you are more informed in real time of the latest events and happenings in your neighborhood, which apparently is much easier than actually just getting to know your neighbors. We should do this show virtually. You are so behind. Don't touch that. Move your hands. Not there. Bank of America got pummeled by customers on social media sites a day after announcing that it would charge a $5 monthly fee to use your debit card. Basically, after proving that they are inept and then taking a bailout from taxpayers, B of A is flipping the American population the bird in an effort to make even more money. Comedian Damien Fahey said, It's illegal to rob a Bank of America, but legal for Bank of America to rob you of $5 every month for spending your own money. So we here at Online Auto Line are standing up for the little man. I thought we were the little man. You suck, B of A. Take this. <clears throat> yeah. Whoa. Easy. I need to get cash out later. No. Taking it too far. Thanks for watching Online Out of Line. I'm Joshua Swanson. And I'm Lauren Gilmore. And no B of A ATM cards were harmed in the making of this virtual show.